Well, hey, y'all. Glad to see you this morning. Um, I'm just sitting here, and I thought, you know, I'm going to play with the Emily palette, uh, the Emily Watts palette, um, again this morning, this one right here. And so I thought, well, um, I'll just do one eye, and then I'll just do the other eye um, with y'all today. So um, uh, let's uh, go ahead and, and do it. We'll see if I can get this other eye to match this one, hopefully. Um, but anyway, I was playing with some colors here that I hadn't used before, uh, just kind of trying to match a fall look in my outfit today. And, um, so, um, let's get started. I thought, um, we would just play with some kind of, kind of neutral colors, but kind of some poppy neutral colors, you know, that she has in here. Um, she's big into the berry colors and things like that. And I kind of like those too, but I, I like to go a little bold also. But today we're just going to stick with, um, we're going to do Midwest first, and then we're going to do Dues Paid, and then we're going to put in on the uh, Lid uh, Top Story. Okay, so let's start off with Midwest with just a uh, crease brush. Any crease brush will do, I'm not even sure, I think this is a crown. No, I don't even know it's a crease brush. So we'll just uh, start right here. We'll just put it right in the, the like the upper crease is where we're going to put this. Right above the crease. I guess not upper crease, but just right above the crease here. And you're just going to work that in and blend it. It's going to kind of just start off your base here uh, to just kind of work off of. But you're going to want to just blend that in all across the um, top of the crease there. Just make it a really pretty color. It's a beautiful color, and, I, and I've heard several different things about this, the, these two palettes, the, uh, the needs and the wants, but I tell you, um, I, I have not had any trouble with this, these palettes. These palettes blend out beautifully. They're very pigmented. Um, even the, um, I've used the, uh, some of the, like this has got kind of a semi shine to it, like a sheen to it. I use those in my creases and they just blend out beautifully into like a nice subtle sheen. And you can use just about any color you want to and blend it out to what you want it to be. They're just beautiful. They work really well. I think they're good for beginners. Um, you, you can go bold. You can blend them out to what you want them to be, you know, if you don't want... You want that certain color, but you don't want it to be too bold. You can always just blend it out. Throw another lighter color on top of it. Um, there's some mascara on me there. Something like that, you know. I just think that they work beautifully. Uh, I think that Emily did a wonderful job picking the colors, picking how they, you know, uh, will go on. Um, she does beautiful eye looks. There's never any way I can follow. Uh, of course, everybody's eyes shapes are different. So you're never going to get anything to look, you know, just like somebody else's. But I do the best I can to, you know, get as close as I can. So now you're going to take um, another uh, crease brush as close as you can. Uh, mine's all, this one's a little flatter. But it's still a type of crease brush because I'm going to go right into the crease. So I want it to be a little flatter but still fluffy. Um, so let's see if this is what it is. It just, oh, it's a dome eyeshadow brush. So dome. If you're says and we're going to go into Dews Paid. This is a beautiful color too. Um, and we're just going to put it like here in the corner of the uh, outside of the eye and take it into the crease. Just build that. You're going to want some color, some darker color right there on that corner and just drag it into the crease there. You can make this as dark as you want. You can make it as light as you want. That's your preference, but that's how we're doing it. We're taking it on the corner here and dragging it in. So you go as dark as you want. You can, uh, like if you're going for an evening look or even if the day look is the way you want to go darker with it, 
you can me I'm going to like try and match my other eye over here so just keep uh, working it and working it and blend I got this a little too dark so I'm just gonna keep blending And then I always keep an extra like blending brush here where I can like just kind of go over it and blend and blend in case I get it a little too abrupt. There we go. And then what we're going to do is go back to our crease brush, dab just a little bit of Midwest and go right back over the top of that so we don't lose that color that we had above it. And it kind of just pulls them together and gets rid of that rough edge there where you can see where they come to you know where they're meeting there so it's just like painting you just want to just um where you don't want rough edges you take care of them you just kind of blend them together if you do want a sharp edge like for your eyeliner for a wing or something then that's where you do your your rough edge okay Make sure I get the right brush. Okay, now we're going to get a flat brush for the um, eye. Let's see. Hang on just one second. Let me... I'm going to go back to my dome brush because I don't think I got that far enough in. You want to go like at least halfway in, if not a little further. About halfway in to your eye, eyelid. Okay, then you're going to get your flat brush that you put um, on your uh, eyeshadow makeup with. Mine's just an e.l.f. brush. And we're going to go into Top Story. And it's a, it looks like a sheen. It could, if you did it with Fix Plus or something, it could be probably a little more sparkly. But I just want a sheen across my eyelid here and it is beautiful when you do this you can do it with your finger or I just think it's beautiful with the brush because this is the look I'm going for but if there's a different look you want to go for on your eyelid me I have a lot of wrinkles so I tend to just want it to be as smooth as possible Okay, and so that's what you do is just bring it in there. Then take your brush that you just don't have anything on and we'll just kind of bring those together. Just kind of blending and blending. Barely touch it. Don't take away your any color. You just blend it together, okay? Then you'll take your flat brush that you used oops, to put on your... Um, your uh, midway, your top story, and you're gonna go right in here on your corner, of your inner corner of your eye at the bottom and put some of that sheen color in there. And then along the edge, you're gonna get a, a, some type of really flat brush, small flat brush. This is a brow, the brow one, I use it a lot. And you're going to go in back into Dews Paid, and you're going to go right along the edge of your bottom lash and put that in. And then just look and kind of tweak anything that you think might need tweaked. Might need more color or anything. I'm just trying to match my other eye. If you're doing both of yours at the same time, which is usually the way you do it, so you can make sure you're doing it, you know, right at the same time. And then I always put a color, like, on the inner, uh, my waterline. Um, I just have a NYX uh, white. Well, actually, it's a um, lavender white I put on the inside. Uh, it's kind of just to kind of brighten your eyes. And then we will top it off with some mascara. 
And I'm using the, uh, I got this in BoxyCharm last time. It's the um, It Superhero. I don't know, I'm sure how to say that. Is it IT or is it IT? I think it's IT. The Superhero. Can't decide. I mean, this is good mascara, but it tends to kind of clump when you're trying to get it dark enough. I've ordered something uh, online that I'm kind of excited to get. Uh, it's a type of eyelash. You know, everybody's going through like the uh, magnetic ones and all that. So I'm excited to get this to see how this is going to work. It's not magnetic. I don't know that they're going to work, but if they do, it's going to be pretty cool. I don't have very high hopes for it, however. You know how they make it sound like, oh, this is the best thing. And if it is, I mean, that's great because who doesn't want an easy way to put on eyelashes? Then just throw some on the bottom lash if you wear it on the bottom lash. I don't always have to make a face to get it down there. It's not a bad mascara. I think it does better as it dries a little bit. And this is a new one. So, um, it kind of works better after it dries a little bit. So, we'll see how it does. Anyway, this is the look I came up with today. Um, just kind of a fall look. Going with my outfit. Because my outfit is just um, the pants and shirt like this. With the musical notes on it. Bass cliffs, triple clefts. Anyway, um... Nothing really going on today, but I had Starbucks as usual, and then I have a doctor's appointment this afternoon. And um, so, we will see you next time. I hope you have a wonderful day sporting around your wonderful new look. And uh, until I see you next time, from my heart to yours, you be blessed.